Hi everybody, this is Connie's Creative Creations and I am Connie. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy the content. If you do and you are new to my channel, welcome. Please think about hitting that subscribe button, notification bell, as well as giving me a thumbs up and a comment. I absolutely love uh, communicating with you all, so I hope that you do that. Now, this is the... This is the... Vintage Halloween, so we'll get to that in just a moment. As you can see, I am painting the Franken Brides of Frankenstein. It's from the Dollar Tree, and it is wood, so let's just work on through this. Okay, I had a lot of content, so I had to put it on fast mode, so I hope you're able to see what I'm doing. Now, um, all my projects are Dollar Tree projects, so I got this... Uh, it's very thin wood and it's um, Frankenstein's bride. So I am, you can see, I am just painting her hair in and leaving the, this is a cutout. So I'm going to be putting this on a board and you'll see that in just a moment. Now I um, put her face uh, white and then the hair. Now I, I don't know if I show you later on, I don't think I do. I do go in and I thin out her face by bringing her hair in more and then I end up using a gray and I uh, dry brushed it on her face to show the hollowness of her cheeks and stuff like that and you'll be able to see that at, at the very end so here I am I know it looks kind of funny what I did is I laid <coughs> this is the board she's going to be on I laid it down and I um, traced through the holes so that I get the proper, because uh, um, you're going to be seeing the other details through the holes. So I wanted to make sure that I could get those details on there. And I'm just doing the, the scars on her face, her eyebrows, her eyes. Now, and then I'm going to do the white on her, uh, on her hair. Now, um, I do have to change a little bit. I do add some other stuff and then go back. Oh, I'm doing her lips as well because I wanted to make sure that you could see them through the wood. So once I get this done, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, after I get all of this done and it's right, then I'm going to um, trace her whole head and paint the outside um, areas of um, beyond her, beyond her, so on the board, I'm going to, the background, I'm going to paint that background in. So here I am putting the white of her eyes. Now when I do put this back over her, it, I realize it's not exactly the way um, it should be, so I kind of change it a little bit. I do put her pupils in um, right there. I just use the back end of uh, my brush. And now I'm using a little detail. I put in uh, her nose. You can't really see this color, but I didn't want you to see brown beneath it. So I wanted to make sure that um, there was a color that was a little bit darker than her white face. So this is when I realize um, I'm looking at it, tracing it, and then I'm noticing that her eyes needs a little bit more work. So I went ahead and added the details on her eyes that did need a little bit more work and I covered up all that white except for her eyes her eyeballs because she didn't need that white where I put it and I made sure that um, the, when you look through it her eyebrows were all there and now I'm coming in with I think this is folk arts Irish I think this is what it is and I'm just doing all around I do two coats to get a full coverage now this back of this is a Dollar Tree sign as well and I used to like peel it the paper and sand it and then I thought no I'm just going to uh, Mod Podge over the uh, the glitter but now I've decided I just kind of put water on it 
and let it soak and then it all peels off it's a little messy but it peels off pretty easy now let's get to the second one um, and I hope you really like that first one now this is the eek from the Dollar Tree I got it last year I grabbed some scrapbooking paper that I had in my stash that was Halloween and I traced around those letters and now I am just cutting those the letters out so that they will fit onto this eek now there's a couple of spots that doesn't cover so I'll just be using a little bit of paint to cover those spots but this is fairly easy now if any of you have ever cut uh, scrapbooking paper you move the paper not your scissors mix where you can cut intricate cuts and it's not a problem now I'm just taking um, my black chalk uh, paint from uh, folk art and I painted all of the edges now what how I cook this on if you put Mod Podge on wet and you put it straight down you get tons of bubbles now I didn't do this quite the way I normally do or you can do which you don't get no bubbles is I completely covered it cover it with um, Mod Podge and then you let the Mod Podge dry then if you put your product down and you use um, an iron or a press it activates the glue and sticks it to it now I didn't want to grab it I was being a little lazy didn't want to grab it and do it so I used my hot gun and I heat it up that worked for the most part a couple of spots I did have to lift up a little bit and put in some I hope you wet. guys really like this one here is the final um, Mod Podge reveal. and I did get a little bit of so, bubbling yes, because of that get right but into the it second turns the next one perfectly. except for a little information see, okay I this is the, the um, retro the little vintage black cat from Halloween Dollar they come part in a pack two. of ten the, and I Post just is uh, Monica from black. All Night DIY. So I'm putting all these and, letters on. Uh, and co the explanation is Indiana is in Jones gold paper. And so you're going to want so to go down to the description box. That. Their channel um, links are down and there. Then as well I do as the, the description box. Over. Don't forget to give some love. And don't forget to go to the playlist. Watch all the videos. And show and watch all these amazing uh, creators so let's get right into the third project this is a witch with her cauldron from the Dollar Tree it's a thin wood and I'm just painting the cauldron black and then I'm going to paint her um, cape black now when I'm done it's definitely not gonna look the same I'm doing her hat black as well because I'm gonna do a lot of shading and detail work on it that it will not look the same at all so and I'm painting her face that same Irish green from folk art that I painted on beyond the background of the witch I mean not the witch the um, Frankenstein um, bride and then I'm making her hair red and this is just apple barrel red now like I said it's not it's not going to look anything like this because I'm going to do a whole lot of detail on each one of these and you'll be able to see that in just a moment so this is what it looks like before I start and I'm going ahead and using apple barrels of brown and making the um, stirring stick brown now I did I do end up making a little bit of a mistake is that I when it's done it looks like um, the stick or the stir stick or whatever it is the spoon is behind it I forgot to make it go inside the pot and I um, will be going back and finishing that so here I'm just using a dry brushing from uh, Waverly's elephant gray and I'm just going to use that now I know it kind of looks odd um, that one side on the left looks really not done very well and I do go back and finish it you'll be able to see at the end so because I'm going to do more of that now I'm grabbing some uh, trying to think of what colors it is that I grab that I get started on um, this is going on her cape and I'm using a purple and a black and a white and I'm just going to start I do a lot of uh, layering and that's how I get to my final um, project I never stick with the first time I always go back and you can see it's very weird looking it looks like I'm striping her 
but you just watch you'll see what I end up doing in the end it will look like a real cape um, or I don't know if it's a cape I think it's more of a, a drape um, that she puts on or some kind of like a jacket but has no buttons or zippers or fasteners but as you can see I'm just using these colors and I leave it for now and I will come back now I'm doing the hat and I'm doing the same type of uh, colors I'm just getting that hat to where it actually looks like a hat that's actually wrinkled and bent up and sitting on her head so I am going to go ahead and get that all done and I do go back to that one too I don't leave it don't leave any of these the way they are right now I always go back and work on them some more but um, once this is done then um, oh, I'm going back to the her cape or whatever it is her drape and uh, I'm adding some more details into it and like I said uh, when I'm done you won't be able to see the uh, what it was supposed to actually what it used to look like at all now I'm doing her hair and I went in with a darker red this is crimson um, from Waverly that I'm using and then I'm going to use some other colors as well before so I can get the exact uh, way I want her hair to look so it actually looks like hair and not just colored um, so I'm going ahead I did the red and then I'm grabbing a little bit of white and with the red and I'm just putting more highlights in there because I really want this to actually look like hair that grab a little bit of purple and put that over it now it's actually starting to look like actual hair and I'm using a little uh, uh, tapered brush angle brush so that I get these fine little lines and I'm just working away at this hair till I get it exactly the way I want I'm also now using a little fine brush now I'm doing the face I'm putting some details on her face I went with the uh, darker green from uh, I think it's from folk art and I get that all done and then I took brown and I painted those legs and then I'm going over the wood to get some details I'm going doing more details on her face then I take some gold that gold there from full cart and I put it on the legs and then I go back later and I kind of dirty it up a little bit with some brown so it's not shiny and then this project is almost finished not quite because now I'm going to grab some uh, stir sticks from the um, uh, I think these were from Home Depot and some tumbling towers from the Dollar Tree I'm using the wood glue from the Dollar Tree and hot glue and I'm cooking two sets of two uh, tumbling towers together and I'm just trying to figure out how what I'm gonna do is I'm making a platform for her to stand on because I want to put lights behind her so that she glows so I'm just getting these all um, glued together so that it's a becomes a little box um, the bottom won't have any it won't have any um, it won't have a piece of wood over it because that's how I'll get the the battery pack in so I'm just putting some tumbling towers on in the inside just to strengthen it up and I realize oh maybe you should put the block box on first before you put the tumbling towers so I only put one more in there just for a little bit of stability and then once that's done I did a little bit of sanding and I grab her and I figure out where I need to put I put some uh, little blocks and tumbling towers on the back that's how I'm going to glue her on there and because she's wood I can actually use uh, wood glue on there as well as hot glue now I'm gonna once I get this done I'm gonna paint that whole uh, box black um, just so that it just kind of goes together and that way um, when I do glue her on there um, it's not like stark white or or natural color so here I am I'm just using that uh, folk art black 
and I am just going to paint this whole box black. And um, I'm the only part of the blocks I am not painting is the part that will have the glue on it so that um, I can actually glue bare wood to bare wood. That's your best uh, adhesion. And so I just put that on there and then I'm um, putting hot glue and I'm gluing her right to it and then putting a little bit of hot glue around the edges. And then um, this part's done. And then I grab my fairy lights after I do a little bit of detail work in between, you can still, you can see a little bit of the, um, the white. And now I'm taking this blue and I'm just kind of doing a little bit of a dry brush, um, on this blue brings, I don't know, it does, it just does something to the black. It makes it look really cool in the dark. So I put a little too much, so I had to go over it a little bit. Now these fairy lights, I'm going to, because of the um, stir sticks from the um, Home Depot, the paint stir sticks, they have that little divot for your hand. And because I put two, I have a little area. So I fed that through. Then I am glued the, uh, the battery pack underneath so that I can still get it open and change the batteries and still turn it on and off. So here you can see I am just gluing and putting a little piece of felt over each spot. And then I think, oh no, got to turn it on to make sure it's still working. It is. And so I am just gluing that on, putting a little piece of felt which holds it. Um, it kind of the glue meshes with the wood when you do that. And I'm just making sure that there's no spots that, that you can see the wire on the front. And so once this is done, then we will move on to my last fourth and last project. So as you can see, this is lighting her up quite well. You, I didn't take a picture in the dark to show you, but it does. It does really well, and it lights her up. You can see the glow. Not really light her up. It's a glow from the behind of her, behind her. Um, so I'm just getting this finished. And then we're going to move on to the next project, which I'm really uh, excited to show you. So I'm just going to get this all done, and then it will be done. So here's the reveal shot. I hope you like her. She really turned out amazing. I, I just love her. Like I said, the brown stick looks like it's behind. I'm going to make it where it looks like it's inside. Okay, I took another sign from the Dollar Tree, and I took all the paper off, all the glitter, everything. And I'm painting this with, um, wa I think this is Waverly, or it could be Full Card. I'm a plaid ambassador, so I use both. I can never remember by looking at the top, which is which. I think this is Full Card, and it's a, like a turquoise color. Painted the whole background, and then I took a the um, Dollar Tree... Um, spackle and I'm just going to draw around a hole around or not a hole a circle around this once I position it where I want this to be now this is a kind of a long project and I know this is a longer uh, video but I I hate not showing you my process because you're going to say what is she doing this looks like it's nothing or doesn't look like anything but just bear with me and watch the process because that's where it all comes from. As you can see, this is a, putting in an old tree and I'm going to put in another one. And I could have just left it like that. But no, I, I do layer after layer until I get these trees exactly the way I want them to look. Now, I will say... When I get done, this project isn't as dark as I wanted it to be, but it is fine. I probably should have put uh, nautical uh, from uh, folk art on the background because it's a dark blue instead of this turquoise. But you know what? I end up loving it, even if it's not as, say, dark as I wanted it to be. So I did those trees, 
black and now I'm doing did the moon and now I am putting in some uh, clouds and I'm going this is actually the nautical I think no this is just a dark blue full of apple barrel and like I said it looks funny and it's gonna look funny it's gonna look even funnier in a couple of minutes because I just go over this and over this and over this until I get this the exact exactly the way I want it to look I still uh, don't get it as dark but it still looks awesome so please enjoy this process let me know what you think of all these projects in the in the uh, comment section I actually love reading those and like I said before don't forget to hit that subscribe button give me a big old thumbs up if you hit that notification bell you can click on all and you'll be notified every time I upload a video or you should be um, yeah just enjoy and I'm gonna play a little bit of music for a couple of minutes so you can watch And now you're probably thinking, Connie has gone crazy, because this looks crazy. But you know what? Just watch, because it's not going to look so crazy in just a couple of minutes. I'm going to, I just needed this uh, background on here. Um, when I go ahead and go over it, I needed it to be there. So just, just watch the process, like I said, because... This looks weird. It looks like green snakes or something on this tree. But you watch, it's going to end up looking like a tree after I am done.
And now I think you can tell I've, it's not the same, but you can still see that green underneath and the, the white, and that's what I wanted. Please tell me in the comments what you think of this process. Um, I know some people do not do this whole process. I am, if you've ever watched me, you've seen what I do. I am an artist. I was an artist first before I ever started doing DIYs, and I always do lots of details and I that's just what I do and now I'm doing this the middle part and um, now when I did it I'm like oh, is this gonna be water no I doesn't end up being water I guess I could have made it water but I chose to put uh, make it more uh, dry land in between like walking through a path or something but as you can see I'm pretty much covering up all that turquoise I should not have used that color. I should have used a darker color. But hey, this is this is my learning process here. And I, it's kind of like it's mixing in with the trees. But no fear. Don't worry. It won't when I'm done. Like I said, I this is just my process. I've got to have all these different colors layered on top of each other so that they it shows depth in the painting. So that is what I'm doing. I'm using some black. I'm using some gray. Uh, I've got some blue there, some green. I'm not doing the green anymore. I've got some white. So I really end up making this look the exact way I want it to look. Now, I bet you thought that part on the back there was um, part of the tree. No, it's dry land or it's land. So I guess that part there could still be. An ocean, uh, water because it's this is nighttime so here I am making putting some black just so that I make gives it some a little bit more depth I was feeling like it was too blah so I put some black on the trees and I'm putting some black in that center part so that it uh, really brings the depth of it and then I thought hmm got to do something with that moon and in a minute I'm going to go back to that and work on that some more. Of course, once I was done that, with that, I set it aside. I grabbed this uh, pumpkin that was attached to the sign beforehand, and it was black, and it said, Boo, well, I'm changing that. I took um, from Apple Barrel, I took a burnt orange, and I'm co covering the whole thing except for the stem. I do two or three coats to cover that boo. I didn't want the boo showing up through it. And then I'm going to take a green and I do the um, stem, and I think I use bright green, but I do um, some detail on it that makes it not so stark and bright. And now I'm just taking my pencil and I'm drawing the jack-o'-lantern's face. 
and then I'm going to start painting it in. And I use um, bright orange um, from Folk Art. Um, I think it's a bright orange multi surface. And I'm coloring these all in with the bright orange. And then I'm going to start doing more detail with um, a bright yellow from Apple Barrel so that it shows some detail. And then once I get done with that and I'm done with the um, stem, that's when I'm going to grab my uh, black and I'm going to draw all the way around it so that you, um, so it just really uh, shows the detail. And then I'm going to use my dry brush and I'm going to dry brush a little bit on the pump, on the jack-o'-lantern so you see the divots where it goes in and out so it actually looks like a pumpkin rather than just a flat pumpkin it's an actual looks like an actual pumpkin so here i am just finishing this orange and then i'm going to do the yellow and we'll get this event to be a finished project here really soon As you can see, this is turning into a scary jack-o'-lantern just by the shape of the eyes and the mouth and the way that I am doing the detail work on the inside as well as just the way it looks. Here I am, I'm now going around um, each one with a fine line uh, paintbrush to do the black. And as you can see, I'm using that black on the uh, stem so that it doesn't look so stark and so bright and then once I get this done then I'm going to grab another one of those cats and I am going to color those black or color it black but I'm going to do this spooky and I'm going to use that uh, this uh, solid uh, this is from folk art I think it's bright green I can't remember it but it's from folk art multi-surface and I'm just painting it now I did do I did put a uh, Mod Podge on it earlier so that it would accept the paint and now you can see the dry brushing that I'm doing the effect so that it ends up looking like an actual pumpkin and not just a pumpkin face painted on a shape and then I think I do uh, do some dry brushing on that spooky just to make it really look awesome but I have to finish this uh, jack-o'-lantern first. I really want it to look like an actual 3D pumpkin. Yes, I went over that with that light color, that light green, and maybe a little yellow, and now I'm painting the um, cat black and putting it on there. I'm just setting it up how I'm gonna do it. Just glued that spooky and glued them all on, put a hanger on, and we're gonna call this project finished. I hope you guys like it. And here's all the, the final reveals. Like I said, don't forget to go check everything out. You guys have the most blessed day. Call somebody today and tell them you love them. It might be exactly what they need to hear today. And don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye.